Why, why do I look like a criminal? <laughs> Hey guys, get level here, and today I have a brand new overlay pack for you, a completely free overlay pack. This is a static pack. It's available right now at gunroad.com slash level. Now, the pack is completely free, but the website actually allows you to put any amount you want if you would like to donate and help support the channel. Today, I'm going to be showing you everything that is included in the pack as well as how to add them um, on your broadcasting software. I am going to be using Streamlabs OBS as an example, but it's pretty much the same thing for OBS Studio. And if you want a full tutorial on how to use OBS Studio, there will be one uh, linked top right right now or in the description. Without further ado, let's uh, check out the files. So the overlay pack is called Station and it's complete with a bunch of bunch bunch of PNG files there are no dot overlay files so there's no one click install so it's good to watch this video so you understand every single file and where they go and how you can install them yourself something that I like to add in my overlay packs is like a transparent avatar in order to really make everything customized including your uh, profile picture this is an image that you can drag and drop on any editing software on top of an image of yourself or your logo or whatever and it will fit uh, perfectly this is the banner for your twitch this is going to be a camera over Overlay. There's only a wide version of it, so aspect ratio, hopefully you have an HD webcam for that. Uh, to the right here, you will see what is the labels bar, well, the stack label labels bar, and I have different icons that you can put on top of it, depending on if you are affiliate, you can see here, there's cheers, subscribe, uh, top donator, and then follow donator, top donator. That is if you're not affiliate, so you can get uh, cheers or, or subs. Right then we have our currently offline image. This is for Twitch again. And then here, this is a blank background. That is if you want to add anything or if there's anything that you don't like that is pre-made in the overlay, for example, the text, if you want to change the text, if you want to add your own text and you want it to say whatever you want, you have this image. There's also this complete blank background. You do whatever you want with it. And uh, there's one with this box just in case you don't want the chat nor the labels bar to be included. Okay, then we have the be right back. Then we have the end of stream. And uh, then we have the intermission screen. This is a transparent image. So you can just uh, put your camera in the back of this. Uh, it's supposed to be in the middle and then top right, you would have the game. If you're in the lobby, if you're changing server, if you're just ba basically taking a break from the game, you can also swap it out if you want. You can put yourself uh, top right here and then the game in the middle, but I don't really recommend this. Uh, this is not made for, for that purpose. And then of course the starting soon screen, obviously. Um, and that's the main files. Then of course we have a bunch of panels <laughs> that go to your on your Twitch channel in order to customize it. The font will be available uh, for download in the product description. Always read the product description before buying, before downloading anything, just like you would do in real life before buying food, for example. All right, now how would I go about adding those into, for example, Streamlabs OBS? Let me just clear this. Oh, look at that. That's an overlay oh, <laughs> that is made completely in Streamlabs OBS. Go check my other tutorial for that. Okay, so the first thing that we know is that we're gonna have about five scenes, right? So we're gonna duplicate empty scenes. Um, let's say this is gonna be intermission. And duplicate this. Or you can just go up top and add a new scene. This one's gonna be game scene, just call it game. This one's gonna be BRB. And this was gonna be ending. I don't advise you on having an ending screen because, you know, at the end of the stream, you're supposed to host someone and bring a maximum amount of people to that other someone. Uh, if you have an end screen, you're just going to let your viewers leave before you host someone else. Not cool. I just got a follower. Hey, uh, CR, thank you for following. <laughs> Anyways, thank God I don't have alerts on. And this is going to be the starting screen. Now, a technique that I showed in a lot of my tutorials is the drag and drop, but I understand that for some people it doesn't work for some reason. Uh, that's fine. If you can't drag and drop like this, what you can do is know what type of file you're adding. In this case, we're adding an image. So we're going to click plus here on top of the source and we're going to go find image and we're going to add source. OK, OK, we can cancel that intermission. So let's do it like that. Plus image, add source, uh, add a new source instead. Call it enter overlay add source go find it it's right there boom and there you go game did i mess that up i put the starting soon in the okay that's fine uh let's add this since we already added the starting soon i'm gonna go add an image and i'm gonna click add source i'm going to game and delete that one and for the game overlay we want uh, the camera overlay we're gonna want did not mean to click that 
we're gonna want a labels bar and let's pretend that we are affiliate oh yeah affiliate boom okay as you can see the labels that are meant for the game scene are separate that means you have the graphics and then you have the icons separated so you have to add, add two images okay be right back gonna be here ending gonna be here okay cool now the advantage of streamlabs obs is that you're connected to your twitch channel hopefully and uh, it already knows your recent activities and your labels and your chat and stuff like that so that's the reason why i mostly use uh, streamlabs obs if you're using anything like obs live or anything that allows you to just get labels and alerts and everything from your twitch channel then you'll be fine okay so let's start by you know adding everything here the chat let's click on the plus find the chat box boom click add source we're gonna keep this open and we're gonna open up our chat from the right here and we're gonna type a bunch of stuff to see what it looks like for now okay so right now it doesn't look too great well i'm just gonna scale it down a little bit i don't have to really scale it down like that but um if we go back to the other screen we're just gonna move the height a little bit and i'm gonna guess the height is like 1000 maybe 200 too much 100 yep and there we go we're gonna make sure that in source uh shut down when source not visible is not ticked that way if we switch scenes and we come back to it it will still be there okay so now we can really type here it could look like that we can probably make it a little bigger just make sure that that top is not going over that little line anyways okay boom so we added our chat box that looks okay to us for now we're gonna go ahead and add the labels icons that we added before so we know they're already there somewhere we're gonna use them and it's label icon affiliate click add source and boom now they appear here okay i'm gonna right click this i'm gonna copy i'm gonna go to intermission i'm gonna right click and i'm gonna paste reference okay this is gonna be kind of like misaligned you just need to align it a little bit for the intermission and for the rest is gonna be fine so reference reference boom let's add a label so what what's the first label do we have uh cheerer let's put recent cheerer so we'll go find stream label add source recent cheerer most recent cheerer we're actually gonna give it the actual font of the overlay pack which is a atmospheric or something there you go a atmospheric nice and we might be able to give it like the same color so we're gonna click the color picker here and we're gonna go ahead and pick this color and that's it there it is so we're gonna bring this here now the cool thing with this overlay is that the way it's designed you can kind of keep it that way without having to make it scroll but we're gonna make it scroll just in case someone has a long name and you don't want it to go crazy so we're gonna right click on it we're gonna click filters we're gonna click plus to add a new filter we're gonna click scroll we're gonna click done and we're gonna give it some horizontal speed just a little bit you don't want it to be too distracting and as you can see it's it's all right let's limit the width so that we have a specific width we know it's not gonna go over it's like 500 i guess in this case you need to play around with it and there you go you have your first label ah, that's actually perfect okay so now we're gonna copy and then paste a duplicate that means we're gonna duplicate a labels but it's not gonna be the same one right click on labels click copy right click paste duplicate and we're gonna bring that one down we need to keep an eye on that number here because it's gonna tell us the distance so 1628 Okay, the rest we can kind of eyeball it 1628 we're gonna double click it because this time we want um a subscriber most recent subscriber reset subscriber click done now that's done right click duplicate again remember 1628 1628 that's nice and we're gonna double click it and this time is top donor all time top donator right here boom and you're done of course you can right click and rename those but this is just an example so i'm not going to show you that um, i'm not going to waste any time now something that we can do is go ahead and uh, group 
those three little things right here and put them in a group together. And this is labels. Boom, now we can right click label, click copy, intermission, we want the labels here. So I'm gonna right click on anything and then I'm gonna paste a reference. Boom, I'm gonna bring it down a little bit until it kind of matches what I have. Nice, okay. For my game scene, I'm also gonna duplicate it. We're not done with the game scene yet. It's gonna be a reference because if I modify any one of them, I want all of them to be modified. That's what the reference is. Uh, duplicate just creates a, a separate copy. Um, reference again, so here it fits perfectly. Reference again, boom, perfect. Okay, remember chat in the, in the starting scene screen? Let's right click it. And we're gonna do the same thing with the whole referencing thing. So right click anything, paste reference. Uh, we don't want the chat in the game scene. So boom, reference, stream ending, reference. Okay. Uh, I was gonna say technically you're done, but we're far from done. We're not really far from done. Let's, ooh, control Z. <laughs> Let's make sure that we don't mess around with those things. So we're gonna keep the labels here. So I'm gonna lock them. So labels, labels, icons, and then the actual stream labels. They're locked, so I can't physically move them even if I wanted to. Instead, I'm gonna be moving the camera overlay because we usually want it to be a little smaller, right? There you go. Now you can imagine if there's a game in <laughs> behind this. In the intermission screen, what we're gonna do is add our uh, camera source. So video capture device, add source. It's gonna be your webcam. You can name it whatever you want. And ooh, ooh, look at me. Nice, I'm gonna right click on this. I'm just gonna flip this. This is just for, my, for me. Uh, horizontal there you go and i'm gonna drag this behind the actual overlay remember how i said it was transparent as you can see it's transparent here you can just scale it down by dragging the corners and not pressing anything i can also crop it by holding alt on my keyboard and dragging the sides this is cropping it there you go and now it fits a little bit better, right? And the game would be behind here. Let's go ahead and go back to the game scene and add a game capture source. So if you have a game that's on, I obviously don't have one on right now. Um, this is where it would capture it. So I would drag that all the way down. Remember the order is like this. And then you would go ahead and um, add a game capture, the same game capture here. So it would be add source, game capture, add the same source. Uh, make it a little bit smaller because it's going behind this overlay over there and drag it all the way down on top of the video capture device just in case um, and we can make it fit so again this is meant to be like when you're in the lobby when you're not actually playing the game right so you're talking the game is loading you're looking for a server or whatever game you're playing okay this is not this is the intermission screen literally all right actually i don't like the way this chat is let me Crop it a little bit. Boom, holding Alt, remember? Okay. And um, that's pretty much it. That is the overlay pack. And <laughs> wait, no, I haven't added the uh, camera here. <laughs> okay, video capture device. We already have our webcam, remember? Boom, we can add it here. If you wanna flip this one, I'm gonna flip this one. Uh, this is an advice that I give people. Always make sure that it seems like you're looking towards the content. Otherwise you're giving your back to the game and it looks kind of weird. Um, there you go. And let's put it underneath the camera overlay. And remember, you can hold Alt and drag the sides to crop just in case. Just in case it doesn't fit perfectly. But let's see how close we can get it. This one is kind of meticulous. I, I would advise you um, do it while it's big, while it's full screen. But here, I'm just going to hold Alt and drag the, drag the bottom. Boom, until it's close enough. And... There you go. If you want, you can group it with the camera overlay. So video capture device, camera overlay by holding sh shift and then clicking on the group icon. And this is going to be my camera. Click cam. And now they're grouped together in that group and I can move them together. I can also scale them together as you can see. All right. All right. Okay. Now we're actually done. <laughs> and the cool thing here is that I can, let's pretend that we have a game. I'll add a media source just to show you how a game would look like with this overlay. Okay, that's just a video of me playing Apex. And this is what it would look like. This is exactly what the overlay would look like. As you can see, the labels are on the side over there. Um, what I can do is actually add them 
maybe to the to the group the icons add them to the group labels blank let's add that to the group and now we can just move everything together it is kind of full screen so might be a little harder to manipulate but let's click labels oh i forgot some of them are locked okay and now we can move them there you go and you can make this a little bit smaller if you want it to be underneath your game or on top of your game wherever you want you can keep them here for example did i move this yes i did there you go and for example here you have your labels and you can set them wherever it feels right depending on the game that you're playing right like i would put them here and it blends in perfectly look at that <laughs> And for example, here again, like I don't need to show you how uh, the game would show here. All right. So this is the station overlay pack available for free right now at gumroad.com slash get level. Again, this is a zero plus item. That means that if you want to donate to help support the channel, you can also do that by typing whatever price you want to give in the um, price box. Please make sure you read the description. Hopefully, you're, if you're watching this video, then you're doing well, okay? So I don't have to be like, hey, there's an explanation. Uh, <laughs> if you have any questions, you can join the Discord. Link will be in the description. Also in the product description, if you want to modify it by adding like your own text, the font will be linked in the product description also. So yeah, if you have any questions, let me know in the comment section below or join my Discord and ask and ask away, basically. But that's it for today. Um, hopefully you guys enjoyed this overlay pack. Uh, I spent a little bit of time working on it by a little bit of time. I mean, a couple of days and I will see you guys next time. Thank you so much for watching. Go out there. Make me proud. Get level out. <laughs>